will be making this style Alita hat. This is the front view, and then that's the side view. I got this from the Gladysaurus. I made the pattern from the Gladysaurus. Uh, and this is what the finished product will look like. Oops. This is the uh, front. I'm sorry, I don't have a good head to put this on. There's a uh, ruffle here and a ruffle here. And this is what the side view looks like of the hat. And then this is the uh, back view of the hat. So what you're going to be needing for your, your work is your instructions from the Glossary 14. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, but it's the Goth uh, well, you know, uh, book magazine. Um, you're going to need your pattern. I'm going to tell you how to make your pattern pieces. A pencil and a ruler, a ruler that has centimeters and inches on it because you're going to have to convert in the centimeters to the, the inches. You're going to need some fabric enough to make your hat and the small pre-gathered um, eyelet. And you're going to need thread uh, that matches your fabric and some pins. Oh, you can see those in there. And you're going to need an ironing board and an ironing machine. Okay? Oh, and I forgot a pencil. So, we're going to be using um, number 28 on your pattern, which is, I, I'm sorry you can't really see this, but there's uh, the little uh, band here, another band here, um, then the main piece right right here, and then um, your uh, little backing, and then there's some more in here, okay? I'll take you to the next step. Okay, so what I've done was I've taken little miniatures, I've enlarged the picture, and I drew it out. This isn't the actual size of the pattern. Um, so in centimeters, uh, from this end to this end is 11 centimeters, which is translated into fourth and one fourth inches across the top. And then along the side is uh, nine centimeters, which is then translated into three and a half inches from going from here down to here. And it's the same across as the top here that I wrote in. And then to get the little roundness of the sides, th that is going to measure one point Oh, hold on a sec. Okay, so the corner here is 1.2 from here to here. Let me get you closer. And that translates into one inch. So you draw a line from here to here, making it a one inch. And then the slopes from the side is 5.0 centimeters with it then which is translated I made it a one inch even though that's probably not right and then you're going to draw three pleats from the center of your uh, back piece and then the middle one and then three this way okay they're probably about half an inch uh, not not one inch, but just half an inch. Draw them, okay? Okay, so uh, this part is the uh, bonnet. I'm, I'm sorry that this doesn't really look well. Um, from, from here down to here, it's going to be eight centimeters, and then that translates into uh, three and one-fourth from here, from here to here. And this is the brim. And then from here all the way over to here 
This this is a miniature, so this isn't going to be the actual size of your, I mean the length of your pattern. But it's going to be much larger on the actual size paper with the measurements. And then from here to the other end is going to be 42 centimeters. And that translates into 16 and a half. So that's your main brim. And then the same measurements are for the other part of your brim, except that you're going to draw a line down the center and cut and then cut it. And to get your slide, your um, your slant that's from this point to this point is 10 centimeters. In inches, it's four inches. And it'll be the same. It'll be the same as your other one. These are the same except for the line down the center which you'll have to cut out. Alright, now this is the uh, main part of the bonnet. Okay, um, from here all the way over to here is going to be, you're going to draw a 23 centimeter line which translates into 9 inches. So the line that you draw is 9 inches. And the line that you draw from down here is uh, 10 centimeters, which translates into four, four inches. All right, and then that should be the same. And then this side is 15. Actually, I made a mistake. Hold on. All right, both sides are. 15 centimeters long, which is 6 inches, both sides. So this edge and this edge. Um, you're going to measure to get this line from here to here is um, 8 centimeters, which translates into 3.5 inches. And then from this edge, you're going to draw a diagonal line down to here, which is 10 centimeters, which equals 4 inches. So from here to here, it's 4 inches, and then you just got to draw a line to match that line there, and then you should have your pattern. So you're going to have something that looks like this. What you do is you cut here, and you're going to cut on that diagonal line to go down and then over. And you should have something that looks like this. So what I'm trying to say is on your miniature that I made, uh, what you're cutting out is along this line, down and over. And with the actual measurements, you'll get something this large here. So that's your main bonnet. Um, for the brim, hold on a second. For the brim, what you're going to cut out is along the edge here and then diagonally down and then over and then the brim with the line on it you're going to cut along the diagonal line and over and then you're going to cut the center line out so you should get something that looks like this this is the cutout piece this is the actual size with the measurements I gave you and then the full piece is the same exact size. Sorry. You could do this on tissue paper. And then for your back piece, you're going to cut out this line and then along your one inch line and then down this line. And then here, and then you're going to cut out the bottom and then up and then over. And then you should have in your actual measurements that I gave you, a piece that looks like this. And of course you'll have to draw, like I said, you'll just have to draw in your pleats. Okay, let's begin the cutout. I'm using scrap paper, so I'm going to do this in parts. Um, you're going to put your rim pieces on the fold, the edge. This is the cut in piece uh, one. And then you want to put your other rim piece um, on the fold as well. So you're going to separate and 
pin your two pieces of the brim and then the main brim, brim on the fold and then you're going to cut that out okay you're going to pin the main um bonnet piece the hat part to uh on the fold and you're going to cut this out okay and i'll take you to the last piece so for the uh plate pattern piece before you cut or set it down, we have to make our pleats first. So you're going to determine where the middle of your fabric is. Now if you've got like lines like this one, it's going to be a little bit easier to do your pleats. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take, um, pick up your pleat, hold on a second, and you see mine got squares, so I'm using the edge of the white. Uh, squares with the green and you're gonna this will be the, the pleat here okay so I'll show you after we pin it now that I've got it pinned see with mine I can tell so we're going to uh, stitch right on the white edge the bottom edge of the white edge okay I'll show you what that looks like when we come back so you're gonna have something that's like this and then you're going to skip the next row, you're not going to do this one right here next to it, you're going to skip over one and then you just, now this time you're using the uh, green edge if you got this kind of fabric so you're going to pin along the green edge okay so I don't know if you can see this but we're going to sew on the green uh, right here okay so now we have our second one in, and now this time we are using the white edge. We're skipping, we're not going to sew this one, we're going to sew the next one over. So we're taking our white edge this time, and we're going to stitch here, okay? Okay, so now you have your three pleats. Now you're going to do the other three pleats on the other side from the middle. And you're going to pick them up the same way as you did these three. Okay, just repeat the steps for this one. Alright? Alright. So this side, you're going to be picking up the uh, white edge again. And you're just going to repeat the same steps as you did the other side, okay? So now you're going to pleat your uh, pattern for the back of your bonnet, but not as many. And then you're going to pin, and then you're going to cut this out, okay? So you should have it slightly um, pleated, okay? Okay, so after you've cut, you're going to uh, base stitch across the top of your pleats and along the bottom. And then you're going to mark the center of your um, pleated back part with a pin and then you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to mark the half line with your um, pins and then after that you're going to put gathering stitches in the bottom edge of your bonnet now this in the picture you will have, it'll be, um, hold on, the edge, not the curve, but the straight edge. You're going to put two gathering stitches in there, okay? And then you're going to mark the center, and then from the center to the side seams, because you're going to match your pins with, um, your... Uh, center. So what you're going to do is you're going to f take the edge and match it up with the center and then you're going to place a pin here. Alright? Now where you put your pins on here is where you're going to match your pins with your ruffles and you're going to put right sides together, okay? So you're going to have something like this. Your match, your centers, your sides, and your bottom seams, middles. And then you're just going to pull up your gatherings. So you're just going to pull uh, the threads in the uh, back, Oops. 
Hold on a second. Just gonna start pulling your gathers up and through your piece until it fits, okay? So you just gotta pull the back threads. Okay, so you should have everything pinned and gathered, and it should look like something like this. Now, you're going to sew on the edge of your end gather stitches or in the center, okay? You're gonna sew them. So you should have something that looks like this. This is the right side, and this is the wrong side, and what you're going to do is you're going to iron this right here down and now we're going to put on our ribbon okay so you're going to cut trim long enough for your hat and you're going to put right sides together which you're going to pin and then you're going to sew remember to put your uh, gathering stitches back into the regular stitch okay and then we're going to press it so you've ironed this this is what it looks like Oops. Now we're going to make the brim for this hat, okay? So I'll put this side for a while. Hold on. You're going to be working with the top, and what you're going to do is open it up, and then you're going to put right sides together of your pre-gathered eyelet on the corner, and then you're just going to pin all the way down to the edge. And then you're going to baste this on here, okay? So you're going to take your other piece and the diagonal has to go this way with right sides. See, so it looks something like this. And then you're just going to put your right sides together and pin all the way down matching your corners. Okay? So you're going to press it open and you're going to press the ruffles towards the top strip. And press, press, press. Okay? Then I'll take you to the other strip. Hold on. So on the main piece, with the edge going like this, you're going to pin right sides together all the way down, leaving a couple of inches from the triangle on each end. Okay? put your right sides together matching uh, corners if it's a little off it's because you cut it too large uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to sew across the top only across the top with right sides together but be careful not to get uh, this middle one in your seam okay so you're going to pull after you I you're going to iron it and then you're going to uh, sew along the diagonal edge and then down with a basting stitch Oops. and then down the diagonal edge and then you're going to put uh, two gathering stitches in here and then you're going to pin it on your hat okay and I'll take you to the next step so you're going to put the gathering stitches in and you're going to match the corner with the edge of your hat the edge of your hat and the center of your hat and you're going to gather it up and you're going to sew um, in between your, your gathers and then you'll get something that looks like this now for the finishing touches you're going to take a bias strip and you're going to pick, match the folded edges along your hat and then you're just going to sew down and make a strip okay so pull your gathers in and then sew it in alright and then put your bias strip on and then you're done